All right, Leo. So your first card, we got inspiration, but it's reversed. We got passion reversed. And then we got blessing. Okay, so some of you guys could be walking away from someone or it could be other people that could be a bad influence to you or to your life, Leo. I am getting that for somebody. But I'm also seeing that if it's not a person that you did look up to at one point in time, um, for an example, it could be an influencer. Maybe you could be unsubscribing from somebody or unfollowing somebody that you did once look up to at one point in time. But maybe you no longer look up to that person anymore. Now, if it's not that, it could just be somebody that is in your family. Maybe it could be like a mother, a grandmother, a sister, a cousin, an aunt, whoever, a husband, a wife. Um, if not, this could be on a personal level. Somebody could be walking away from an old job of theirs that they once really did love. I am getting that energy with inspiration reverse and then we got passion reverse. There is somebody who could be walking away from something or someone or that they was once inspired by, Leo. Maybe they just no longer desire that thing or that person anymore. If this is a lover or an influencer or like I said, somebody in your family you once did love or look up to, but that is the energy that I'm picking up on. They're leaving something they was once passionate for to go towards something that is more fulfilling. Because a lot of you guys got some blessings coming in. Whether you, I'm hearing sacrifice. Some of y'all may have to make a sacrifice. Maybe you did make a sacrifice to let something go or let someone go. Um, but I'm, I'm getting this energy where some of y'all could be going into the unknown, Leo. You have hitting blessings ahead of you, spirit is saying. We got the four cups reversed. Yeah, y'all definitely was stuck on something or someone that you really, really love that you even at one point in time missed if this is a love interest. But I am seeing that somebody is purposely holding back from that person or that place or that thing that they're no longer looking up to anymore, Leo, or no longer desire anymore, Leo. Because a lot of you guys are definitely going through some form of change. Some of y'all let go of somebody that wouldn't change. And that's probably why you let go of this person. Like, remember, I said member, because maybe this was the energy. Maybe at one point in time, you was missing this person. You was, you know, you did love this person or this thing. But I feel like you don't even miss this person or you don't miss this thing or this project or something that you used to do anymore, Leo. Some of you guys could be letting go of a job, a, a status or something. I don't know, but I'm hearing that it could be something or someone that you no longer, um, that has basically that has a bad influence in your life. Some of y'all could be feeling that way. It could be anybody or anything. Just take what applies. But I am seeing a disconnection from something that they was highly passionate about to go into hitting blessings. Yeah. Some of you guys definitely left something or someone that you was stuck on in. I'm getting this energy where you could be becoming more spiritual. Some of y'all could be going, could becoming more spiritual, or you could be leaving the spiritual community, and maybe you could be walking into religion. I don't know, but I'm also getting that somebody could be going to church, leaving the spiritual community, and getting like, like going to church. So I don't know why I'm getting closer to God energy. I'm not saying that the spiritual community is not close to God. Maybe you could be falling back a little bit from certain people that are bad influences. Maybe you're removing yourself from those black bad influences that you want to look up to for some of you guys. I don't know why I'm getting that energy, but it's here. But I am clearly seeing that a lot of you guys been praying y'all way out of a situation that you were stuck in. Some of y'all, it was definitely a bond, a soul tie that you once was stuck in. I'm getting a sexual tie. Some of y'all, it definitely was like a sexual soul tie that you was once in with somebody that you felt like you had to pray your way out of with this, um, <clears throat> with the star card right here. Somebody could have Aquarius in their chart, or you have water or Aquarius in your chart. I'm seeing all Aquarius and water, or just fire and water. But I am clearly seeing that y'all definitely did walk away from something or, or detaching yourself from something that you was once, you know, stuck on, that you had to pray your way out of, because you have a lot of blessings ahead. Some of y'all, like I said, y'all walking into the unknown, no matter, it's like for the most part, you just wanted to get out of that stuck situation. You see what I'm saying? Like, you didn't care what it is that, where it is that you were going. I just felt like you just wanted to get up out of that. 
out of this card, out of this energy right here with this passion reverse right here, um, Leo. But I am seeing that y'all got a lot of hitting blessings ahead of you, Leo. A lot of hitting blessings ahead of you, Queen of Pentacles. And whatever it is that's getting ready to come your way, it's going to require you to um, stay true to yourself, be loyal to yourself. Some of y'all need to learn how to be stingy and stop giving people stuff. But I am seeing that it's going to require you to, it, it basically is going to take a lot of selfishness to get what it is that you want, Leo. You see what I'm saying? Basically, you got to hold back whether this is your energy, whether this is your time, whether this is your money, whether this is your resources, spirit is saying. Y'all got to hold back a little bit. You see what I'm saying, Leo? In order to get these blessings. Because they here. You know what I'm saying? It's just that it requires you to, you know, stop, get basically stop giving a fuck. You see what I'm saying? About something, someone, place, thing. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I'm also here if it's in a workplace or if it has something to do with family for some of you guys. No more people pleasing, Leo. No more people pleasing because y'all got a lot of blessings that's head, ahead that is meant for you, that's coming for you. And some of y'all have to force y'all way up out of a situation. You see what I'm saying? Or just force yourself away from people, period. You see, but I'm getting this forced energy with the chariot card um, reverse, Leo. Yeah, you making a sacrifice and having to let, let, let go of something or someone that just would not change. Like I said, whether this is family, whether this is environment, whether this is a romantic love interest, y'all had to make a sacrifice and let it go because somebody or someone or something just would not change, Leo. And it's crazy because some of you guys got people that owe you apologies that you didn't even get from these people. You have not got from these people whatsoever, Leo. Y'all got to be dealing with a water sign. I don't know why lately, but I've been getting a lot of readings where I feel like a lot of Leos are dealing with water signs. Or you could have just a lot of water in your chart, Leo. But I am clearly seeing that some of you guys had to remove yourself from people, places, and things that didn't even own up to what it is that they have done to you. They never hold accountability. They never apologize. Some of y'all are turning y'all back on people who can't give you what it is that you want. Because like I said, you may, some of y'all may have been people pleasing for way too goddamn long. But I feel like y'all have definitely realized some shit where you know that you need to make a sacrifice to let these people go. You see what I'm saying? If the feelings ain't mutual, you let them go. If the love ain't mutual, you let them go. If somebody owe you an apology and they come back without apologizing, thinking everything is all gravy, you let them go. You see what I'm saying? If somebody can't commit to you, for an example, maybe you want to get married one day. If you want to get married and the person that you're talking to or you're dating don't want to get married, you let them go. You see what I'm saying? I feel like you are unapologetically, this is what it's saying, you are unapologetically walking away from people, places, and things that don't take you higher. You know what I'm saying? They don't take you higher. They don't respect you. They don't love you. They don't, you know... Don't give you that same energy, basically, that you give them. That's the energy that I'm picking up on, Leo. But what else do we got? What else do we got? Yeah, I just feel like you got to the point where you are making these sacrifices, Leo, for the betterment of yourself and your life. Because you're tired of being stuck on in, in environments, dealing with people that that don't respect you, that can't give you the same energy that you give them, and... And not only that, I just feel like, like I said, you just want something. Of, it's all about improvements with yourself and your life, Leo. And and that's what you really want. You want something better in your life. Because I feel like y'all suffer for way too long in silence, Leo. Because we got suffering in silence right here. Y'all definitely have suffered for way too long, Leo. And I just feel like you got to the point where you said, I know I got blessings ahead of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it may be or what it may look like, but I'm make I'm willing to make that sacrifice and be stingy with my time, my energy, my resources, a helping hand. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy. You are being loyal to yourself, Leo, because once again, you suffer for way too long. You are looking towards the future. You are looking towards your happiness. You're tired of being stuck. You're tired of struggling, whether this is in um your material life, whether this is in relationships, whether this is friendships. You're tired of being left hanging. Some of y'all feel that way. Some of y'all feel like y'all been left hanging for way too long while you see everybody else winning and you always suffering or you always struggling. You see what I'm saying? That's what some of you guys, that's the energy. Yeah, I just felt like you realized that you cannot learn from these people because we got wisdom reversed. The people you had around you, you realized you was not learning anything from them. It was not taking, they was not taking you higher. They was not spitting knowledge in your ear. They was not giving you any, any resources to get money or to make you better. 
You see what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of you guys are looking towards your happiness right now. And you're stepping away from gossip. You're stepping away from toxic people, messy people. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like a lot of you guys are walking away from people that you cannot learn from, Leo. That's the energy you don't pick. It's like your circle is changing. You changing your circle, whether you have to eat alone or whatever you got to do alone, you willing to make that sacrifice and go at it alone. You know what I'm saying, Leo? For the betterment of yourself and for the betterment of your life. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. But I am seeing that a lot of you guys are walking away from people you can't learn nothing from. You know what I'm saying? If they're not uplifting you, if they're not taking you better, if they're not helping you to achieve any goals that you want to accomplish, Leo, I just felt like you got to the point where you are letting go of these people, places, and things that just don't give you what it is that you are looking for, period. And you're unapologetically doing it. You see what I'm saying, Leo? That's exactly what you're doing. Now we got the sacral chakra reversed. What is, number is this? This is the number two. Yeah, this is all about lack of desires. You coming out of your feelings for people. It's like I said, I keep getting this strong energy of you unapologetic, unapologetically walking away from people, places, and things that you just don't desire. Y'all are coming out of your feelings about people, places, and things. Y'all are no longer desiring the same type of people, places, and things like that you used to. Y'all are getting away from people who just want to use you for sex, just want to use you for money, people who just don't see your worth. Y'all coming out, y'all getting away from that type of energy, Leo. I'm getting this holding back energy with y'all, Leo. Some of y'all are definitely practicing celibacy or you could be abstinence or something like that. But I am seeing that some of y'all have not had sex for a very long time because you've been trying to focus on yourself and make your life a lot better. But I am clearly seeing that y'all stepping away from people that you cannot learn from. I'm telling you, Leo, y'all ain't playing. You going towards something that is going to be, I'm hearing, something that is going to be long-lasting. That's the energy that I'm, that I'm hearing. Some of y'all want a commitment. Some of y'all want somebody that you can marry one day, and that's going to take you serious. Some of y'all are planning something long-term. And like I said, it requires you to be patient, but... Like I said, you're willing to make that sacrifice. You're willing to take that risk, Leo, and do whatever it is that you got to do to get whatever it is that you want. That's the energy that... I, it's like you came to your senses, Leo. Sevens are all about having that awareness, Leo. Y'all, sevens also mean spirituality, something that you have mastered, a lot of wisdom. Seven means wisdom, uh, wisdom, insights, and just being successful on something. But I am clearly seeing that, Leo. Y'all are definitely planning for the future. Y'all are planning things long term for yourself that's going to take you higher and that's going to make you better that's the energy that i'm seeing y'all embodying that energy leo you're unapologetically letting go of people places and things that just don't serve you that's the energy that i'm picking up on but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up leo i hope it resonates don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe and y'all be blessed